What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I wanted to update you guys on what's going on in the world of jailbreaking for iOS 12, what firmware you should be on, and basically just what's going on and all the news that I have. Um, so first off, my rule of thumb, and everybody always says this, always stay on the lowest firmware possible. If you guys need to see how to disable updates on iOS 12 and prevent your device from updating, uh, be sure to check out the video link in the description. Uh, there was a previous video where I showed how to stop those updates uh, and be sure to do that just so that you don't accidentally update to a newer firmware of iOS 12. Uh, but anyways, first off, we're going to start with a little bit of a, a older news and then we'll work our way up to current. So uh, first off here, we're going to jump into uh, IPSW downloads here. And I'll show you guys as of the making of this video, these are the current firmwares that are being signed, iOS 12.1.2 and iOS 12.1.1. Uh, iOS 12.0, 12.0.1 uh, and 12.1 are no longer being signed, so you cannot downgrade to those at the making of this video. So keep that in mind. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into some security content. This is the security content of iOS 12.1.1, and there's some great news uh, with that update as far as if you're on iOS 12.0, 12.0.1, or 12.1. So those three firmwares, uh, there can or could be a kernel level exploit coming out which would contribute to a jailbreak. And as you can see right here, there is a kernel level uh, exploit that was patched within 12.1.1. So anything older than that version of the firmware will have this bug in it. And it is from Ian Beer of Google Project Zero. And that is awesome news because uh, that could be an exploit used for a jailbreak on those firmwares. So super exciting. Um, as far as um, newer firmwares like 12.1.1 or 12.1.2. Don't worry, you guys aren't in the dark if you're on that firmware. Let's go into Twitter here. Uh, so sorry, my bad. He has apparently a exploit. Uh, it does have uh, um, kernel task port with it as well, which is kind of the building block for a jailbreak. And it does work for iOS 12.1.2 apparently, which is super exciting as well. Of course, this is just a bug. There is a lot more work that would go into a jailbreak. Uh, the same as that kernel that kernel level exploit by Ian Beer. That's just literally the building block of a jailbreak. There's a lot more that is required to even make a jailbreak, but it's still exciting news because uh, these are very important bugs for a jailbreak. And that's pretty much all the news I got for you guys right now. I want to keep this short, sweet, and simple. I don't want to confuse you guys too much, but like I said, always stay on the lowest firmware possible. There could be a jailbreak for iOS 12.0, 12.0.1, and 12.1, and there also could be a jailbreak for 12.1.1 and 12.1.2. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.